In the 1970s, early 1970s, we were living in a world where the perception of Dar al-Islam was very fragmented. It was a world in which nationalism had taken root and was defining everywhere. When you picked up a book about the Islamic world, it generally ended it with Iran. The Indian subcontinent was something else. And so what I believe was the profound aspect of the festival was this concept of unity. But we were living in a much more innocent world, a world in which the hierarchies of knowledge were still very much intact. I was just saying that one of the extraordinary coincidences that made the festival possible was the extraordinary scholarship of the curators and the librarians in the whole museum library area. And they had time. They were not administrators. <laughs> no, you you're, you're gesturing me. toward the curators <laughs> on me. this side of the table. No, you told me. <laughs> they, they don't have the time to study. These people, the, the, the scholar to us. librarian <laughs> was king. So in those days, there was a deep scholarship that was a deeply fragmented understanding. I had a conversation in Cairo at the, um, at the ambassador's house where a very senior academic was making the point that there was no such thing as, as uh, Islamic art. And this was a, com yeah, this was a common co concept. But the point is that at that time, unity was very important. And that was the great theme. However, now things are very different. We live in a world which is in deep crisis. And the great crisis of our time is that the world is out of balance. And this is why I asked my son to read that wonderful surah of Rahman, which deals with Mizan, which deals with how Almighty Allah created the universe in Mizan, in Balance, justice, measure. So now for the Muslims, the, the, the Muslim opportunity now is phenomenal. Because everyone can experience and everyone in their daily lives experiences the fact that we are out of balance. We know this. We have destroyed the balance in terms of the natural world. We are out of balance in our families. Family life is under pressure. Communities have been destroyed. We're living in a world of extremes, extreme wealth, extreme poverty. And this balance, when we look at Islam from this perspective, we see a Dar al-Islam in which this principle defined the world that was created. It is manifested through the art, through the knowledge, through the great work of the Sharia, through Tasawwuf, through all these elements, but they were all integrated and whole and in a state of Al-Mizan. What has happened during this very tormented time that we're living in is that everything has been torn apart. So some go to this, some go to that, some go to the other. But from the great work of Imam al-Ghazali, the proof of Islam, from that moment when the balance and everything was put in its correct place, Islam spread right across the world. Islam went into every culture. Why? Because the whole of the manifestation of Al-Mizan, that was realized. And that 
was the other thing that when I encountered Islam, I encountered the beauty of Islam. And that beauty only is manifested when everything is in a state of balance. So this is the, the, the huge wealth that the Muslims have. And this is what needs to be realized for our time. Because everybody is crying out. Everyone is suffering. Whether they're what, from whatever culture, they are suffering because of the terrible breaking of Al-Mizan. So what we do now, what projects that take place to help this, what initiatives are dealt with, they have to be ones in which the, the glory, the spirit, the love, the understanding of Islam is once more resonated because now it's terrible. If you think of the term Islam, if you think of the term jihad, if you think of the term of the glorious Sharia, that huge monumental work, now these terms, you can't use them. Immediately a barrier comes up. Terror, fear. So it's very serious. The situation that the Muslims face today is very dangerous. And we have to recover a glorious vision, a generous vision, a vision that is full of compassion. And all of that is contained within this fundamental principle of Al-Mizan, this principle that through realizing it brings peace. Because it is only by being in a state of balance that you can actually have peace. And this the great sheikhs have taught us. And this is what Islamic art tells us. And this is what the music of Islam tells us. And this is what the way of life of the Muslim tells us. Everything is in its proper place. Our duties towards Almighty Allah, our duties towards our human community, and our duties towards the creation of Almighty Allah. These three spheres in perfect balance. So whatever we do now, we have to really think very deeply of how can we recover, reclaim, Revive, because these are the words that belong to Islam. Every century, every time, reviving, recovering, reclaiming back to what is the perfection that Almighty Allah has given us. Thank you.